So, okay. I'm going to start this off with saying I'm a fan of the Just Cause franchise. I've actually been looking forward to playing Just Cause 3, as I love Just Cause 2. So when I finally picked up the PC version of Just Cause 3, I was pumped. I was pumped to play it, man. I've been looking forward to this game and everything. And after installing the ridiculous size of over 30 gigabytes, which is the norm for this day and age, and for a game this massive, I found out that the game stutters more than Scatman John having a seizure. So of course, I, at first, I thought it was my machine. I'm not running a top-of-the-line machine, I have a GTX 750 Ti, super clock, 8 gigs of RAM, and an FX6300. So I lowered my settings a bit, and what do you know? It's still stuttering. So I went on to the Steam discussion forums, even though that place is cancerous most of the time, and Reddit, to see if anyone else is having this issue. And what do you know? Basically, everybody is posting about the PC version, and they're complaining about the stuttering and performance issues. So tell me, how is this excusable? And honestly, it's not excusable. And the people who are making excuses are the people on the Steam forum saying, oh, well, you know, it's simple. It's a demanding game that requires 12 gigabytes of RAM. It uses more memory than any other game. Uh, well, I don't know, man. You can keep making excuses, even though in the recommended requirements, it does not say you need 12 gigabytes or more of RAM, it says 8 gigabytes. So I don't know, man, yeah, maybe it does require more than 12 gigabytes of RAM, but since Avalanche, in fact, did say it requires only 8 gigabytes of RAM, it should only require 8 gigabytes of RAM. Really, Just Cause 3 launched on December 1st of 2015, same day as Rainbow Six Siege, and Rainbow Six Siege performs beautifully on my machine at high settings. And Just Cause 3's problems have yet to be fixed two months after launch. Should the performance issues have yet to be fixed? What are you doing, Avalanche? Oh, that's right. Having some Friday night beers and getting a massage at our expense. From what little I played of Just Stuttering 3, it's a great game, and Avalanche did a good job with it as it's fun. I would probably like it more if it didn't stutter all the time. I will say, though... One of the redeeming qualities of Just Suttering 3 is the fact that they got the Tenth Doctor himself, David Tennant of all people, to play DiRavello's Spin Doctor. Hello again, citizens. Vigilator Sud was a bit of an eyesore, wasn't it? Yeah. Our beloved General thought so too, so they completely removed it. Well, most of it. Yes, I mean, as with any industrious nation, there's always the occasional infrastructure shake-ups. Um, that's why I assume I'm broadcasting from some sort of underground bunker. Well, carry on. Viva Medici! Oh, yes. I mean, hey, that's cool. I'd love to hear more David Tennant in my ear throughout the game, if I could even play the game. So what could Avalanche do? Well, they probably should stop focusing most of their resources to creating DLC. This game is out for two months now, and one of the platforms they launched it on doesn't work yet. It's sad that they did such a bang-up job of performance for this game, Considering the game they launched three months prior to Just Stuttering 3's launch, Mad Max, performed beautifully on myself and my friend's machine. It's even sadder when a company who was usually good with performance uh, has managed to make a game that performed worse than Grand Theft Auto 4 on PC when it first launched. Get it together, Avalanche. Your game is beautiful and fun, from what I played of it, at, that is. And myself and hundreds of other people want to play your game we shelled $60 for to support your company, yet you've basically thrown us away like your Monday breakfasts trash. One thing that also really puts me off of this game is probably also the cause for a lot of the performance issues, is the fact that the game forces you to constantly play online and is constantly uploading your statistics to the leaderboards, which is probably part of the reason why the game stutters like crazy. That and the very serious memory leak that occurs after playing the game for 15 minutes offline. I was only able to actually record footage for this game, not stuttering that is, when the servers were down earlier today. It needs to have the option to turn the online connectivity on or off. But does this mean I hate Avalanche Studios? No, of course not. They've created some fantastic games over the years, and one little screw-up isn't going to make me hate them and burn them at the stake. They still have an opportunity to redeem themselves, and if they put, you know, their resources together and patch this and fix it, uh, you know, I'll still keep buying stuff from them. But if they don't, 
And if they keep ignoring this for the next four months, then you could probably bet that myself and hundreds of other people probably won't buy from Avalanche again. Anyway, as always, I'm Mr. Coolmanist. Thank you all for watching. Let's hope Avalanche Studios fixes their game relatively soon, so myself and all of the others experiencing problems with this game can experience Just Cause 3 the way it was meant to be played. So thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Adios, amigos.